wife pictures. I, mean, I don't have my phone. I don't really. I don't have a phone. So she goes off that one. But it's alright. I'm on my own. <laughs> Hello, YouTube friends. My name is Cai Ping. Welcome to my channel. I hope you have been doing okay. In the past couple of days, it has been so sad because the world is dealt with the news that Gabby uh, suffered a personal traumatic manual strangulation slash throttling. So the manual strangulation means um, it's not done by equipment and the throttling is just more specific means done by human hands. Um, things got worse before it got better for the uh, potato family. So that has been so sad. I was wondering what led to the spiral down to the demise of Gabby. I think what Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito was doing between August 13 and August 17 is crucial. So I want to uh, go back and look in at the body cameras by the Utah police officers. And uh, uh, while I was doing that, I found Brian Laundry blatantly lied about not having a phone to the Utah police. And today's video, I will show you five short video clips um, showing exactly step by step that he exposed himself as a huge liar. So the first video clip is the witness uh, describing what he noticed um, started the fight on August 12th between Gabby and Brian. So take a listen. And what I noticed like they were sort of squabbling over a phone. I want to say that he was trying to grab her phone, and I'm not sure exactly why. And then it seems like uh, he had sort of walked to one side of the van and sort of wasn't letting her in, and, and then the male was stepping into the driver's seat. And she was trying to get into the van, and I think she said something about why you're being so mean, something like that. And so that was the first video clip showing the witness describing that he, he saw them squabbling over a phone and he think uh, the man was grabbing the girl's phone. He didn't know why he did that. Uh, so that's basically what started the fight. And the next um, clip, I'm going to show the police was interviewing Brian and he said, I don't have my phone. I don't really have a phone. And Gabby goes off with her phone. I'm just on my own. So he basically cried a river of he not having a phone. He was so poor. He he was so alone. So take a listen. I like pictures. I, mean, I don't have my phone. I don't really. I don't have a phone. So she goes off that one. But it's all right. I'm on my own. <laughs> so uh, I was saying, let's just go for walk. So that's the clip showing he lied to the police that um, he didn't have a phone. And the next clip I'm going to show, Gabby talked to the female park uh, ranger officer and asked for her phone, uh, which was in the van, and she was not supposed to talk to Brian or walk over to, to the van to get it. So she asked the uh, park ranger to get it for her. Take a look. Do you like your phone? Do you know, you know yeah, where it is? Yeah, Without yeah, telephone, where yeah, is it? Yeah, just hang it. Oh. Go ahead, follow it. Yeah, go ahead and tell me if you don't mind me crashing. I'll get you ready. It's like, it's in a spot. Why don't I go with you? Where are we going? Oh. Perfect. Great face. Yeah. One of his, uh, one of his ring fingers, I think, has gotten scratched. And you, you saw it right there. Yeah, I saw the ring. Well, I was trying to build some consistency between the stories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. So the next clip is going to show that when Gabby got her phone back, she uh, immediately was on the phone with her parents. So that answered one of my questions about what happened between August 13 and August 17. I was wondering if Gabby um, had her phone back. 
was she able to call her parents or call anybody? Obviously, she got her phone back on August 12th. So let's take a listen. She's got her cell phone. She's calling her parents just to feel better. She doesn't want to not be with them tonight. There's That's no choice sense. in the matter. Yeah. So. So parents, nobody just calling the supervisor. At least it's me, so. So I clearly heard that uh, uh, she was calling her parents so she can feel better and she doesn't want to not to be with him tonight. But I didn't hear what the, the officer said a little bit after that. I don't know if you can hear it or not. If you are able to hear what they are saying, I, I feel it's something important. And then please leave in the comments down below. And this uh, last clip is the best. It's going to show how Brian exposed himself as a complete liar. So take a listen. He had four obvious reactions when he found out that he was going to be exposed. Oh yeah, no problem. Have a good day. Uh, what, what phone number? Yeah. So that's his uh, final reaction when his lie was exposed. I want to play it again and in slow motion you try to identify the four reactions, the one that he made like before the uh, police um, distracted him. After the one of the officers asked Brian what's your phone number, he made that uh, surprised uh, look and then police officer saying goodbye distracted him and also give him a little bit time to 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 come up and answer still he wasn't able to avoid his lie uh, being exposed and the next reaction is after the police the other police officer was gone he turned around he repeated the question my phone number and then make sure you notice the horror on his face and in his eyes. Repeating the question is a typical uh, saying that a liar does because the police officer asked a simple question, what's your phone number? He repeated it as if he didn't understand or he was so surprised. I already told you I don't have a phone. Why you are asking my phone number? As if he was saying that. And the next reaction was um, he found out he didn't have a way to get away from it. Um, he put it to two of his hands together like, oh my goodness, I was, I was caught <laughs> like that. Of course, he was not shaking. He was just uh, doing that, especially if it's in normal uh, play speed, you, you wouldn't be able to see that but in in reality i think he was kind of shaking at that point um also you know the police officer asked for his phone number it just shows he's just as stupid as the rest of us uh, we don't call ourselves so a lot of people don't know their own phone number and he doesn't call himself so he doesn't know his phone number actually he doesn't have to pull out the phone but because he is just as stupid as the rest of us. He doesn't know, remember his phone number, so he had to pull out the phone and expose his lie. So take a look in slow motion. <laughs> the surprise look, the first surprise look.
So that's the horrified look on his face and in his eyes when he repeated the question, my phone number? Here he kind of kind of tried to come out a, a way to avoid being exposed as a liar. And then that's when uh, he found out, out that there is no way he can avoid it. So that's the, the five clips that um, completely exposed Brian Laundrie's blatant lie about him not having a phone. So if the police um, believe whatever Brian Laundrie or his parents say, um, if they believe them, they are fools. I mean, uh, clearly this guy is a liar. Um, and then the phone he pulled out at that time, of course, he disposed it. Along the way, he drove from uh, um, uh, Teton National Park to Florida. He probably dumped his phone, Gabby's phone, Gabby's Apple Watch, probably a lot other digital stuff that has the records of showing um, what happened. So that's just uh, today's video. I hope you um, enjoyed the content of today's video. Um, if you don't like it, give a, a thumbs down. So I, I will uh, think about something else. But uh, if you like it, give thumbs up or sub subscribe. I have more information coming. That's it for today. See you next time. Have a good day.